Okay, you can't keep asking him where he wants to be because he's answered this question like four times. You gotta Bro, come up with a different question. Bro, let me question. talk, woman. <laughs> okay, but you gotta come let up with a new question. Woman, I said let me talk. Bro, Sorry. he's just upset that they're broken uh, up. So it, it, they're it, not broken up. They're shrugging like ever. They're like, on like a the break. They're on a break. <laughs> they're not on the. And their break is break. indefinite. <laughs> okay, okay, let's not let's not lose our minds. Okay, okay, let's let's. If we were to be a tag team, me and you, Derek, what would our tag team name be? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Great question. Maybe you, maybe our tag, tag team name would be The Smooth. The Smooth. Ooh, Ooh I like it. I was thinking that. All right, guys. Welcome back to our show, Beggars Bear Terrain. We do have Jack, Jenna, and Katie. Right, right over here, but right in that corner over, over here is the best bud and Katie's good friend. Give it up for Mr. Mr. David. Anyway, David, I, I, I like to start doing some, some, some two, um, questions about you. So, how you got into wrestling? Will that start? So... It's been since my uncle ever introduced me to wrestling. I was probably like, my earliest memory of wrestling, I was like a baby. And I remember just playing on the PlayStation 2, Here Comes the Pain, um, WWE versus SmackDown. And I just would always turn it on every day and I just play the game all the time. And I just remember like being there every day. And that's my earliest memory of wrestling, really. Bad, but I kind of like, you know, grew love for it. But uh, yeah, you, you start off um, bumps, running the ropes, uh, jumping over them. Um, it's been a year since I've been, so kind of like blurry memory here. But uh, yeah, just running the ropes, you know, Is there strikes. like a specific way that you're supposed to take a bump so that it doesn't hurt as bad? Oh, yeah. So you want to de definitely tuck your chin because you don't want to hit your head against the mat because you'll probably, you know, go unconscious, I'm sure. But you want to tuck your mat or tuck your head and you want to throw your arms back as you fly back. So you kind of want to do it all in one motion. So, you know, you're trying to stay safe the whole time, obviously. So not trying to kill yourself, but trying to stay safe. And, you know, over time, it, it doesn't hurt as much. But, you know, so, yeah. So do you practice, like, when you're, obviously, like, you're learning with opponents, yeah. like, or other people. Mm -hmm. But how, at what point do you get to the stage where they, like, actually kind of let you? Wrestle each other? Yeah. So we, we, the main thing, we want to keep each other safe. So that's what we were, like, very strict on so i want to say maybe four maybe four weeks we started having matches three weeks and we four weeks maybe we started having matches five weeks maybe something like that so, so around that i can't really put yeah, it around halfway yeah, through around halfway, halfway through um and we would like meet together for like maybe like 15 minutes talk about what we we're gonna do and we would like try to remember everything that was the hardest part trying to remember everything the whole match and try to put on like a five minute match. So you kind of like sit together and like writing down, hey, we want to start off like, hey, like come up to me and. So it's almost like a routine. Tony, a routine. Yeah. yeah. Almost, yeah. So you're just kind of scripting the whole thing out. Sure. It's like a dance, like a TikTok dance. You know, it's like right. stand over there, we're going to do this and we're going to do it through the. Thing. Right. So yeah. <laughs> like there's a plan. There's a plan. Yeah. There's a, there's a big yeah. plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was the first like big move that you learned how to do? My favorite move that I was the Hurricane Rana. So yeah, I'm like jumping on the person of my opponent or whatever, and I'm like flipping back, and uh, they like swing and do a front flip or whatever. And yeah. So. Do you know what Is a hurricane looks like, Dean? Ray Mysterio does it a lot. Yeah, Hurricane Rana. I <laughs> thought that before. Those yeah. are pretty cool. Yeah, like, they're fun. You get to swing all around. <laughs> have you ever done a six one nine? I haven't done a six one nine yet. I wish. I wish I should have. You know that that's Ray Mysterio is my hero. Really? Yeah, he's my favorite. Wrestler. You know that's our friend. Really? Yeah. Give it to me. No way. We've had yeah. him on our podcast. No way. Yeah. I've cool. got his cell phone number. No way. Give it to yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dominic was actually the first person. That's so cool. That yeah, we, we love um, Dominic. Dirty Dom. <laughs> so, um, when we first started on on TikTok, okay. Derek was, you know, really into wrestling, and we started in 2020. Dom's career started in August 2020, like on TV. Okay. 
And Derek got so excited one day. He's like, oh, my God, that's my brother. Because he realized they were both born in 1997. Nice. What he didn't realize <laughs> is that they're actually three days apart. Nice. Y'all are twins. Yeah. And so <laughs> Derek, like, absolutely <laughs> lost his mind one day. And, of course, at this point, we're on TikTok. So mom, like, hears him in there yelling. And she's like, I guess I should go record wow. whatever he's freaking out about. That's amazing. And that's we great. posted a video. And, and Aaliyah Mysterio <clears throat> saw it. And she had Dom respond to that. it. And then a few months later, we went on the bump and Dom surprised Derek on the bump. Wow. And then when we, fa- that was in like <laughs> December, I think that was November of 2020. And then fast forward, Royal Rumble came to St. Louis yeah. in 2022. Yeah. And D- Dom and Ray actually came to the bakery that Derek was working at at the time and surprised Derek. And that's how he found out he was for sure going to go to Royal Rumble. They brought the tickets with him. He's actually got like a signed Rey Mysterio mask. And just ever since we've been friends with their whole family, we've met their whole family, except for the mom. Derek's FaceTime with the mom a few times to say hello. Angie. Um, Angie. Angie. Yeah. But we've we've never gotten to meet her in in person. That time at the bakery like that easily could have been like a 20 minute exchange. They stayed for two hours wow. and hung out with us, That's and we awesome. just like got to spend some time with them. So and Derek cool. got to yeah. pick their brain. Ray was actually so impressed with Derek because, um, he just what was the stat you remembered about Ray? You mean sixty-two to twelve seconds? So at the time, he had he was the person who held the record for winning the Royal Rumble for and being, being in yeah. the longest yeah. at that time, yeah. and it was what sixty-two and twelve seconds. Yeah, and Derek like. Boom, quoted it to wow. Ray, and Ray was like, I Holy didn't even God. know what That's time crazy. it was. Like, he knew he had the record, but yeah. he didn't know what the record was. He's like, I knew it was over an hour, yeah. but he That's was like, awesome, I couldn't man. have come up with the exact number. And they were just so impressed That's with so Derek's cool. knowledge that, yeah, they did. They hung out with us for so long. They it That was supposed to only be like a 30-minute thing, I think. Yeah. And next thing you know, they're like, oh, shit, it's been two hours. We got to go. Wow. <laughs> it was That's the day so before cool. the Royal Rumble. It was. It was I was Mom's supposed birthday. to go, too. I was so mad we had a track meet, and I was like... Of course, they switched the pay-per-views to Saturday. Mm. I'm like, dang. And my track meet was on Saturday. That's the day we were coming back. I'm like, crap. But, uh, yeah, no, I, that was my first wrestling event I really? ever went to. Okay. And I yeah, my, my, I was mind blown. That's so cool. I couldn't even believe it. Like yeah. The Royal Rumble is, that's got to be my favorite pay-per-view event. Yeah. Like, they take that E in WWE seriously. Oh, it yeah, is so entertaining. Yeah, it is. Those yeah. fans are really... And you never know what's going to yeah. happen. They, you really oh, don't. Oh. Derek Drink missed. <laughs> <laughs> Derek just took a drink of water and missed. Good thing it's just water. <laughs> yeah, yeah Royal Rumble is definitely water. my favorite. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. It's just so like nonstop. It's just utter chaos. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so much going on. You got the men and the women going at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, just to backtrack a little bit, um, what's your history with Katie so people know? Katie was my first friend at Parkway North. Am I the first one on at, on the show from Parkway North? Yeah. 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 Other than our cousin. Oh, who was your cousin? from Parkway North? Megan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Megan. 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 She didn't have her. Oh, okay. I'm, I thought you. Were, okay. Heard yeah. you. That's what's up. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Here you first are. One. Here you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. met on the bus. Yeah. It was us. We were sitting by the bu- on the bus every day. Until I, will tell, I mean, I was by myself well, sitting. I'm I'm kind of a loner. Not a loner, but I'm like shy, whatever. And he was new. I knew he was new I was because. New. You was knew it everybody sixth grade? Else. It was sixth grade. And I knew everybody else on the bus because yeah. they all went to my elementary school. Right. And so this kid that didn't go to my elementary school was on the bus and sitting in the front of the rest of sixth graders. And yeah. I was like, all right, well, you clearly don't know anyone. Now you know me. Who are you? were like this every day. <laughs> yep. Buddy, buddy. Every day. Every, every day. day. I, I mean, it's really cool. Your friend with, with my sister. That is really awesome. Yeah, she is. But before we go jump to um. How you, you make? Well, we already covered it. My sister. Before <laughs> I jump into that, I, I, I have very important questions to ask you, man. All right. my guy. So, my guy. If you do want to deep dive with with wrestling, you you say you want to be a professional wrestler, like like Rey Mysterio, like Rey Mysterio, Sean Spears, or Tyler yeah. Breeze. What wrestling company you want to be in? There's WWE, New Japan, AEW, Impact. What wrestling company you want to be in? Yeah, based on wrestling companies, I, I really just want to go where I'm kind of accepted. I really don't have a preference. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be doing what I love, and that's going to be put on the show and as entertaining people. 
um, as long as I'm happy, I, I really don't care about the company that I'm in. As long as I'm because wrestling now, every everywhere you can go anywhere and you're gonna get your name across the board. If that's WWE, AEW, New Japan, uh, Ring of Honor, any shows. So I'm, I'm fine with any show that I go to. So if you had a choice, would you be a hero or a heel? It's so hard because I want to be both. I, yeah. I was doing both. My character was the wave. I was calling myself the wave because I was saying I'm better than everybody. You're not. You, you can't touch me. I'm the wave. You can't like look at my hair. Like you can't. <laughs> too smooth for you. And um, I was kind of. I was doing both. Like I was literally like, because. With the character that I made, it's like, it can be both. But, because I can be like, hey, ride my wave, Jenna. I mean, like, come on, like, get on this wave with me. Like, don't you want to be smooth? And then I can literally look at Katie and be like, you're, you're not better than me. Like, you're not good. Like, get out of here. Like, what are you doing? But stuff like that. But if I had to choose, I'd probably be a heel. Yeah. <laughs> so I can do that. <laughs> I love that. It's I... so easy to talk stuff in the ring. So probably that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think AEW is doing like their heels. For sure. like, I think you could be both too. Yeah. Like a lot like, of people go back both. and forth. Yeah, you can literally like the yeah. house of black. Yeah. We keep waiting for Dom to go back to the good side. Yeah, he probably won't. He's dirty Dom. I don't think he, he he's a really good. He's deal. so he's good really at good. it. He's really good. Speaking of that, and the way he gets booed. Yeah, it's he, he can't even talk. He Poor literally guy. can't talk. We we <laughs> talk to him because he calls. Uh, he called Derek on his birthday. Uh-huh. He and just said, like, boo. Yeah. Well, you know he got booed at his wedding. Oh, dang. I it, think I, I saw mean, that on Twitter. I saw that. Like, I, saw I think that. they were, you know, I messing with him because it was that. when he was picking up the mic to, like, yeah. say thank you for being here, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And they're, like, all booing him, which is yeah. hilarious. I saw that. But he, so we, he called Derek on his birthday. This was, mm-hmm. I guess it was t- last, not <laughs> April, but two Aprils ago. And the night before, we had been watching SmackDown, yeah. and he picks up the mic, and they're booing him, and, you know, yeah. you just... He literally can't talk yeah. because they're so loud mm-hmm. and he can't get a word in. And we were like, Dom, it's kind of sad. Like, because we just know him so well and, yeah. and we know him as such a nice person <laughs> yeah. that it's just so sad <laughs> to get him to see, yeah. like, get him, see him get so ridiculed in the ring. Yeah. And we were like, Dom, it's like really kind of sad that you can't even get a word in. Yeah. He's like, it's okay, guys. That's his job. He's like, booze are my cheers. Yeah, yeah, and yep. we're like, okay, okay, got mm-hmm. it. And that's the thing that we've kind of like come to learn. Like yeah. the better the wrestler, the more loud the crowd is. Exactly. And it doesn't matter yeah. which direction. Yeah. Like they could be cheering for you in a really positive way or they could be booing for you in a really negative way. Yeah. But if you're getting a reaction, that's what they want. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. And, and he certainly is activating the yeah. crowd. If you can't get that crowd to react, then you're not doing your job, but you got to get that crowd to react. Amen to that. Amen to that. So do you have good moves? Would you like do a little dance in the with your smooth Maybe. thing? I yeah. have to save it for my debut though. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. show you guys. No, you don't trying. have to show us. I'm just, I'm just trying <laughs> yeah, to see what I got we, it we saved up. I got it all right here in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen to that. Um, the, the next question is I have, you did mention the Dominic, yeah. how you inspired him as Dirty Dom, that's really cool. I did saw this at a king, of, king of, a queen of the ring. Mm-hmm. Dominic to help Liv Morgan out to win the Women's World Championship. Did you watch that pay per view this I weekend? I saw the highlights. You saw, yep, I did. You saw that the highlights. Yeah, I, I saw, saw that too. So, um, how you feel about Dominic? Have, um, replacing mommy. Re- replacing Rhea Ripley. Step mommy. I'm I'm actually a Liv fan, Morgan. I, I mean, a Liv fan, a Liv Morgan fan. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she. I was waiting on her to get that title for a while because I, I feel like she deserved it. She's amazing. Sure. She is good. We've met her I too. I love her. She's amazing. Derek was pretty speechless yeah. when he met Liv. It was actually really cute. He yeah. like was scared to approach her, so she came to him. Really. <laughs> which was so sweet, wasn't it? That. Yep. That was SummerSlam so cool. 22. Yeah. 22. Yeah. I'm happy that they. Yeah, I'm happy that yeah, they that's, put the title on yeah, her. Actually, cool. yeah. That's cool. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, um, do you think Liv Morgan will be the will be the new mommy and replacing Rhea? If you've been look watching SmackDown, there's been like they draw. Actually, uh, is it is Liv Morgan on SmackDown or Raw? She's she, just she, she just switched. She just she just, just got Monday drafted. Raw. Okay, but okay, so she was there was some episodes where she was on SmackDown. They were like leaving. The, I don't know if you guys saw. It was on Twitter. It's been like little. I don't know. Oh, he's doing. seen it. Okay, so that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I think that they're up to something. They were leaving the that, same room. Yeah, that. They exactly. were coming out. They yeah. were talking to each other in the yeah. back background of like people's think, interviews. Yeah. They're, Maybe they're kissing a little bit or something. Yeah. Well, Derek, yeah. Derek's been claiming that. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> don't want to get in their business, but there's, there's definitely <laughs> something going on between them two. 
I think he's gonna. They'd make a cute couple, D. I agree. Except for Dom's got that stupid mustache right now. <laughs> Did he get rid of that yet? Not yet. Mm. No. Mm. He does look cool with it. <laughs> anyway, um, if, you, if you do want to, have, don't do any company. What company you want to be in, like WWE? He said he'd be <laughs> in any of them. Yeah, if I could. In, in one. If I had to choose, man. Right now, I mean, I've always wanted to go to Japan. I don't know. It seems pretty cool and different over there. I want somewhere to start. I don't want to go to the main stage and I want to work myself up. I want to put in the work. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about going to straight to the big stage. I, I'm 23 years old. I have plenty of time to do that. Did so, we see, we were looking at your Instagram. Yeah. Have you done some like recruiting stuff with WWE before? So they, so WWE actually came up to Mizzou or whatever. WWE recruit came up to my school. So I had okay. to make sure to show my character off and you know, <laughs> make sure to be known. So they wouldn't. So let me tell you this. So it's such a small world. And timing is everything. And that's just how God works, obviously. So when I was at Flatbacks, I actually, so one of my training partners, shout out to Noof, his, he goes out with Katana, Casey Canizaro. And so she was the one who came up to Mizzou. So when I saw her, um, we were, she was like, what are you doing here? She was like, you were just at Flatbacks training. I'm like, I go to school here. And she's like, wow, I forgot about, all about that. So she made sure to introduce me to the talent, dev or whatever. And um, she kind of like, when I was cutting my promo, she was like, show them the wave, show them the wave. So she was like, literally, trim- it was just, it worked out perfectly. It was Katana really Chance? Katana Chance, yeah. Did you hear that, D? Yeah. So me and Katana. I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, he likes Katana Chance. Yeah. She's a cool her- person. So I know they do a lot of those like recruiting events at, yeah. at colleges. Um, yeah, That's like kind of yeah. their so bread new, and butter. Yeah, like their new oh. agenda is to pull all these college athletes. And Which stuff, is smart. So very smart. Like yeah. super smart. I mean, those are a- the athletic kids that yeah. clearly like want to oh, yeah. be performing in some capacity yeah, literally. when i found out because i was so i had ideas of going into pro wrestling but when i saw they were like pulling these you know these d1 athletes i'm like y'all not gonna go in and not pull me like y'all have to like like it's insane like, like i'm in yeah now i'm in <laughs> yeah so did they just did mizzou athletics just like announce that they that yeah. wwe recruiting was coming or and so i was literally in, i was literally in the car driving when i saw the post because they so wwe recruit they post like where they're going they go on the ca- campus rush tour and they post all these schools where they're going. So when I saw they were like coming to Missouri, I was like, almost got in a car accident because I like screen. I'm like, ah, it's my chance, like to show up. <laughs> but so yeah, so they like post it on Instagram on their page. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I went to Missouri too. Really? Yeah. Miz. Miz. Zou. Love it. Um. So you. <laughs> I love <laughs> you. I know. I mi- I messed it up. I totally messed it up. <laughs> well, no, bad. but he went. Yeah, I, I've made a face. I jumped in. Oh yeah. Well, irrelevant. Missouri, yeah. Um. Although Derek <laughs> does this really annoying thing where you'll like ask him who his favorite college football team is, yeah. and he says Missouri State, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. Derek, come on, man. You know it's Mizzou. <laughs> it's Mizzou. Yeah, switch it over to Mizzou. I mean, I wouldn't take Missouri State well. football. <laughs> Mizzou's a real football team, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, so is Missouri State. No, 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 no. <laughs> Missouri State doesn't get TV time. Mm-hmm. Mm, not on the big channels. Yeah. Anyways, so. Ooh, shots thrown. Dude. I mean, it's just the truth. I'm, I'm not offended. I reality. guess what? You should see our col- our student loans because mine's so much less than I just Yeah, hers are college. damn near gone. I've been out for like almost 10 years. <laughs> so there's that. But, you know, <laughs> I, hey, I went to Mizzou. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so what what's like, what's it like being a collegiate athlete? And, and that sort of thing. I wouldn't say it's a job, but it's a job. I mean, waking up at before the crack of dawn and, like, just seeing, like, not even the sun coming up and going to practice, having weights, uh, going to study hall hours, trying to get a meal in between, going to class and making sure – and people harassing you to make sure you're even going to class, but you're still tired. But, I mean, like, all that crap. I mean, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> Did they <laughs> make you lot. wear, like, dress up when you're traveling and stuff? Yeah, I mean, that was probably my – that was my, one of my favorite parts. I like to dress up. I mean, yeah. just kind of like stunt a little bit. But you know, I was, they, would, they, wanted, they wanted us to make sure, like, you know, business casual. Yeah, I was at the airport the other day, and I saw there's, like, all these kids, and they're all wearing, like, the guys are all wearing ties, yeah. and the girls are, like, pretty dressed up. Yeah. And then they're grabbing these Mizzou bags yeah. off the, you know. What team did you see? It was the track and field a, team. Oh, yeah, yep. Because so, there was yeah. tons of That's them. That's crazy. And I'm like, who are, like, yeah. they're all, they are clearly all know each other, yeah. and they're all, like, very dressed up for getting off an airplane yeah. and then i finally found saw one of the bags that said mizzou track yeah. and field okay. and i was like 
man, they make them dress up yeah. to travel. Yeah, so when we went to the airports, they'd make us like wear suit and ties. Um, when we got on the bus, they like do business casual, but yeah, so. But they, the airports. Airports kind of strict. Like, they why? To, I have no idea. They just want us to look nice, I guess. Did like, all the athletic teams do that, or was yeah. it like oh, a track yeah, for and sure. yeah, field no, every, team? No, every school across the nation does that. Like they all really? everybody dresses up. Even at North, I mean, they for yeah, I mean, you would see people like literally dress up for the games and stuff. For game day. Yeah, game day. People would come in. Oh, I do school, remember they did time. that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean the guys. The softball definitely team wore, did not do that. <laughs> the guys definitely wore ties. We did it for like day. our first home game of the year. And then by the time we were seniors and we were making the calls, I'm pretty sure we were like, No, we're yeah. not dressing up. Yeah, no. They make you dress up. Because this is what I like to look at at school. <laughs> and I was not trying to not look like yeah. this. I feel that. So what what um, competitions did you participate in? in yeah, track so and field? I ran uh, 400 hurdles, probably the worst. That's a man's race right there. It's just that's a, a lap around the track with hurdles around it. Yeah, <laughs> but that, I mean, I'd be I'd falling on my one hurdle. <laughs> I know, I'm like I have a skid yeah. marks on my nose, and I've got like really long legs and everything, and I still don't think I yeah. can hop over them. Things. Yeah, I ran 400 hurdles. I, I mean, I pretty much did everything. I did 200, um, did relays. Uh, my coach would really like she'd make me do the 600 shout out to her she i mean 600 is like a lap and a half damn near it's like 800 but i mean it literally it hurts so much but is that pretty much like a full sprint are you going at 100 percent for the much, whole track pretty much it's a good you know start off fast stride and then finish off sprinting yeah how was high school with katie well before before <laughs> i answered that one well you can't answer did. that okay, i can't answer how high school was katie, what katie was Katie got fake in high school. <gasps> Call her out. Ow. Tell him. Tell him <laughs> what happened. Katie stopped being my friend in high school. Oh. You know, clicks kind of happen in high school, and you kind of mm. go your different ways. And Damn. Like, Damn. My friend, Damn. my first friend, she really left me. I'm we like, were still friends. I'm just playing. You just weren't like Yeah, like senior cool. year. We were like this senior year, I feel like. We got back together. Senior year, se- our senior year class was weird. You don't think so? Katie was homecoming queen. Were you really? I voted for you probably. Whole time, yeah. I was, I was still, I'm still shocked. I won homecoming queen. I swear, half the school hated me. We did have the WWE draft months ago, and we did, got really good talent like Laura Vicaria and Belair Davenport, mm-hmm. and um, Katana James drafted to run this SmackDown. How do you feel about this new superstars like Katana James and Laura Vicaria? And well, that's is that your friend? Katana Ooh. James? Katana James. I've met, met her, but I've okay. never, yeah, yeah, I've met her. And Laura Rikiria with Carmelo Hayes. How do you feel to see those, those people get drafted? I was, I was really excited time. to see Carmelo get called up. I was waiting on that. He he deserved that way long ago. He, I would say he's been, in, he's been doing yeah. that for a while now on yeah. NXT. Yeah, he's been doing, he's the definitely the it guy on NXT, but uh, I was really happy to see all of them get called up. Um, you know, new platform, new opportunities for them, and you know, get to show their talents or whatever. So, so have you done some stuff with AEW too? So I've been to an AEW show. So it was really last minute. <laughs> so um, one of our drivers at uh, NHRA, um, they got called up um, just to do like a little, you know, a little sequence. I think it went over in the commercial break. I don't think it got aired or anything like that. But uh, they, my job knows that I was um, per- participating with, you know, professional wrestling and all that. And uh, they were like, hey, do you want to come with us? Like, we'd love to have you. And I was like, yeah. I'm the graphic designer, by the way. And um, so we got to meet the driver. So I got to meet Mercedes Monet. She's really nice. She was amazing. That's she was amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I got to meet um, the Acclaimed. They were nice people. Oh, we um, love the Acclaimed. Oh, yeah. Everybody, Everybody loves the Acclaimed. <laughs> Everybody They're really loves nice the people. Acclaimed. Derek. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I did it with one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I was back there, like, losing my mind. I was trying to, like, stay calm. I saw Edge back there, Samoa Joe. I was really trying, because I'm, I'm a fan at heart, and I'm, like, the little boy inside me was like, please just be calm. Literally, when I, <laughs> when cool, I, cool. literally, when I met Mercedes, cool. she was so nice, but I was like, uh, uh, she was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Just, can we take, she was like, you want to take a picture? I'm like, yeah, sure, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I'm so happy to hear that she yeah. was nice. She was hella nice, yeah, she was really good. Derek actually dressed up as Sasha Banks. Really? In 2020. <laughs> He wore we'll a to white you the tutu. Picture. Really? I got you. Got to show me. You know that's my favorite female wrestler. She's she's amazing. Well, that's, she's the goat. She's the goat. C E O. She's the goat. She's the goat. I was so happy to meet her. I need to meet Rey Mysterio. If I meet Rey Mysterio, then my list would be 
Complete. Complete. The, hey, subtle. I think it's I think yeah. it's attainable. Literally. Ray Mysterio is one of the most the whole Mysterio family is one of the most genuine like <laughs> people we've ever met. Like they're yeah. so kind, unbelievably kind, very very nice people. Yeah, yeah they are nice people. Yeah. Been Derek, very accepting yeah. of. Derek us. wore a white tutu, a white crop top, and a curly blue wig. For who? Oh, for Sasha, Sasha for uh, Mercedes. <laughs> and then he held up me, his uh, his WWE <laughs> That's belt. We'll show you pictures yeah, show after. Me. And then That's she hilarious. responded. Did she really? She did. That's she cool. did she respond. She won't follow me, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, she doesn't follow okay. us, but not she yet. did respond. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not we're yet. working on that. Not yet. Derek's not favorite not is yet. Bailey. Bailey? The ba- hugger. Bailey. She a hugger still? She's not a hugger no more. She just she's recently went back to being a good hero. Side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's your that? Where's your by? We, we all know Bailey is. Derek prefers her as a heel. I do too. She's a great heel. She'd be like, stupid uh-huh. idiot. That's all she says. She actually, he actually has a really great picture of him and all three damage control members. Really? Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Before they expanded. <laughs> yeah. Before they, before they split, before they split up. up. Before they flaked well, on But Bailey. there was people on added, Bailey. I thought. Like, yeah, well, yeah. Asuka and Kyrie saying it yeah. before those two got added to the mix. But I think they only got added to betray Bailey. Yeah. Which is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. the OG damage control. He's got a picture her, yeah. of those three. They did three. Bailey wrong. Poor Bailey. They but did she's champion Bailey now, wrong. so she, I mean, she's all good. She's doing she all right. She got the gold. Well... Well, she, she she does have gold. I have I have fruit for crutches. Janet, Katie are good. It's your multiple crutches. Now it's my turn to wrap I didn't it up know we made. were keeping score. <laughs> I got time. I ain't doing nothing well, today. Good, good. I got I got got time too tonight. It is <laughs> Monday Night Raw anyway. Oh, yeah. He's All like right. I'm free till we seven. Tune in. <laughs> <laughs> does, does anybody know what's happening tonight? Oh, I'm sure Derek uh, does. Uh, a recap of the pay per view, huh? Uh, I think there's a, a recap for Kena and Queen of the Ring, and also we do have the rematch of Peggy and, and Liv. Yeah. Oh, is that is the title on the line for that? The title is on the line tonight. Yes. Oh wow! Oh, I didn't know that. The women's champion, right? Again, for for the women's world oh, championship. I didn't know that. And I, I got a feeling Dominic will help. Live again during the Ooh, rematch tonight. That's I so hope good so. That'd be, that'd be dope. <laughs> that'd be fun to recap that's on the weekly production. wrestling wrap up tomorrow. I know. So the podcast, I don't know if you've ever listened to it, but we uh-huh. have a weekly wrestling wrap up on yeah. Thursdays where Derek just gets to go ham on, on and on and on about <laughs> yeah. wrestling. It's the one time we don't tell him enough with the wrestling. Yeah. No, sometimes we do tell him that. <laughs> well, that's true. We do. We, we have yeah. I have my sometimes. limits too sometimes. <laughs> Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I try not about you. Anyway, um, where, where show you want to uh, debut at? Like, what show would I want to debut at? Like, if I had to pick one, like um, WWE, New Japan, Impact. Can I do? Bro, can I? Can I? No, can I do pay per view? Can I do pay per view? AEW. Yeah, I'll do AEW all pay per views. If I could, deb- if I could debut at any pay per view. I debut probably like number four at the Royal Rumble. Four is my Ooh. Royal Rumble. Oh uh, no, four is my lucky number. Sorry. The Royal. I will say. So we've asked Dom about it. Like, I I've always thought that the Royal Rumble just it seems so fun. Yeah. For that to be in. Yeah, and he's like, it's a lot of fun, but it is one of the most tiring matches you can participate <laughs> in. You're in there, you gotta have that cardio. Yeah, you're in there for and an it's hour. just nonstop, and yeah. it's just everywhere you turn. Oh, you know, yeah. something else is going I on. I definitely debut there. That's my dream debut to debut at a Royal Rumble. That's That'd what Jade Cargill wow. did, right? Yeah. She debuted at the Royal Rumble. She did. Yes, she did. She yeah. did debut. She's a powerhouse. She, she is a badass. Her and Bianca Belair as a tag team is oh like God. unbelievable. I still can't believe Jade Cargill uh, picked up uh, uh, Nia, Jax. Nia Jax. Nia Jax. That was insane. I saw that. I that saw was that. insane. Yeah, she eliminated her by Power herself. House. Who Last picked up Otis? Otis. Bianca. Bianca picked Bianca. up Otis. They were not Bianca. No. No. no it was. Uh, it was Lash Legend. Legend. Lash Legend. Lash that was on Bianca, NXT. Bianca picked up Otis too. A different time? Yeah, a different time. La- recently, Lash Legend did it on NXT. Picked up Otis? Yeah. yeah. Otis is Otis a big is, man. Yeah, That's a big, big old Otis. Otis. How Maxine tall is he? Is he, t- is he pretty tall? No. 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 He's just a few inches taller than Derek. Okay. I, I would he's give him like five, taller. five Muscular. seven, maybe. Yeah. He's definitely he's shorter taller. than me. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we've <laughs> met him in town. You're taller than everybody, Katie. Yeah, well. <laughs> Well, we are not happy at Chad. We are not happy at Chad, so let's not bring him up. But so, 
Okay, you can't keep asking him where he wants to be because he's answered this question like four times. You got to come up with a different question. Bro, let me question. talk, woman. <laughs> okay, but you got to come up with a new question. Woman, I said let me talk. Bro, <laughs> woman, shut your mouth, woman. All right, Thank all you, right. Thank you, I like his questions. <laughs> well, Even when he says the same one over yeah, and over. Okay. I think he's it's pretty like cool. Day. You shows cup of tea you eat. I don't mind listening to you in, in fourth. That'd be really cool. You finally gave him the right answer. <laughs> yeah. So maybe he's done now. Double yeah. is the, the, the best is. calling. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. My next question is um, You want to be a um, professional wrestler, which is you cannot do that this week. We do have people from WWE who listen, so. I know, I love that. Maybe they'll That's hear awesome. Maybe they'll have I bet that they could get hear you from. from, from, from Right here. Yeah. We do have a Clash Clash of the Castle coming up. And we got Demi Pray taking on Drew McIntyre for the World Heavy Championship. I could gotta know, David, what you got for the for the world title. I got my money on Damian Priest, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably the right answer. Derek yeah. likes to say Derek likes to say he's got his money on one person, but he wants the other person to win. Because he's like, he I, knows I who will that that we'll probably yeah, win, so that's that. who he's put his money yeah. on, but then sometimes he's actually rooting for yeah. the other person. It's yeah. his he likes way to play both sides. I got yeah. my money. I love Drew McIntyre, but I think Damien's Priest is going to retain. Drew Latino McIntyre game. is huge. Uh, massive. Yeah, we I'm met sure. him. He's, he's probably like, like seven foot, huh? Mmm... I'd easily give him like six nine or six ten. So you think? Foot. I was thinking maybe six, six five. <laughs> okay, it's more it's more so the muscles that make him look his even bigger. His muscles are massive. Like his shoulders, like the size of Derek's head. Like he, we, we met him when we were with Cricket Wireless, mm-hmm. and he was wearing like a Cricket T-shirt, and I he could have hulked out of That's it. Insane. I think. Yeah, and he was easily wearing like <laughs> a double XL. Wow. Six foot five. Six, six foot five. five. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's she was there. right. <laughs> but he looked Stop. huge next to this guy. <laughs> Are we no? All, all, right, right, to all of us. <laughs> what else do you got, D? Because I got another question. Good. Yet. My next question is um. My next question is. What wrestler inspires you? Oh, good question. Good question. What what wrestler inspires you? So, I would say just you know. You know, Bianca Belair being a former track and field athlete, her story, just, you know, her being in the SEC and her getting found within WWE was probably, like, pretty inspiring. Um, you know, she also did 400 hurdles as well. She was a hurdler. So, you know. What, that, where that, did she Wow. She went to track Tennessee, and field? Uh, University of Tennessee. Oh, okay. Yeah, she went to University of Tennessee. Nice Tennessee. Keep so, up. Uh, yeah, her story, you know, her <laughs> being a hurdler and then her wanting to be, I guess, a pro wrestler, <laughs> that kind of just kind of spoke to me. I'm like, dang, maybe this is for me. Maybe I can do what she can do. Maybe I can lift Otis. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do my push ups. You better hit the chin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Well, well, I mean, it's really cool. You see Bianca Belair to um, inspire, inspire you. You just said he, she is. She does a great job with the community, too. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. She does so good. When we went to WrestleMania in LA, she actually, I don't remember. It, it, it must it's it was Dallas. like. A, no, I'm ta- we met her at WrestleMania in Dallas. But when we went to WrestleMania in LA, and that one was real. No, you don't even know what I'm gonna say, bro. Let me. I already know what you're gonna say. No, you don't. Who's the two, dude? So she (laughs) entered. She entered WrestleMania LA, and she had this. I I think I think it was a dance team, but there was easily kids from like four years old to probably like eleven or twelve. Yeah, and she entered. They all had their little. They yeah, all had their Bianca hilarious. Belair hair in, and <laughs> see, I watched this video of her working with those kids, yeah. and the way these girls just like looked up to her, yeah. and it was just, I'm like, she is a class yeah. act. Oh yeah, 100. percent I know uh, re- representation means a lot to her, so to see that, you know, from our community, just a lot. Yeah, to, great to see. Yeah, somebody something. It was like, like that, the so. dance community of Compton or something like that, yeah. and I don't yep. remember exactly what they were called, but I'm pretty sure they were from Compton. Yep. Um, but it was just, it was yeah, really, it was, it was like, it gave Very me inspiring. full body chills oh, seeing yeah. her enter with all those, all kids, those little girls. Yeah. And her that, smile is just like beaming. Like she, her smile yeah. lights up a room. She's just, you can just tell she's, she's the most. Yeah. 
kind-hearted yeah. person. All the time. Yeah. Sure. And her and Montez Ford are such a oh, yeah. powerful Oh, yeah, yeah. Montez. He's They're great. Good you know, Montez <laughs> can sing. For real? Montez. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Montez. I am glad you brought that up. He'll just be singing left Man. and right. Every I, time we've met him, he's just singing. <laughs> he seems so cool. I, I, I am glad you brought that up. Um, Dave. Yes, oh, sir. now you're short in your name. You call Dave. me Dave. I like that. Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave, right. D- Dave My grandma David. calls me Dave. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Do you want to see Matthew Ford and Bianca Belair taking on Cody Kai and Dominic Mysterio at Clash of the Castle? Wouldn't Liv Morgan and Dom Myster- Dominic Mysterio make more sense? I'm just talking logic here, I bro. I think they beat their butt. Whoever it is, Bianca Belair and Montez Ford. Yeah, Montez, Bor- Montez Ford and Bianca Belair are getting that. dude that. can get up. He can frog splash in the air. He's, he can jump. Well, be careful what you wish for, Dom. That's do you a think, power uh, tag team. Do you think Logan Paul is a good wrestler? I think he's a good wrestler. I think he is. For for him to just come in like that and do the stuff he does, oh, yeah, for sure. Because that stuff is hard. Very acrobatic, oh, for yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah his, for him his to come in like that. flipping and jumping no, yeah, that's, and that's, off that's, the top that's rope and stuff. No, yeah, that's an athlete. Oh, yeah, the, Rico- sure. the stuff Ricochet does is really cool, too. Oh, yeah, too. Ricochet, no, yeah. that's a... That's a highlight. Really you know, right when we started the podcast, our yeah. producer thought we were saying Rick O'Shea. Uh-huh. Like he, he thought was his Irish name was or something. Rick O'Shea. Ricochet. But it's, it's not Ricochet. one word, though. No, Rick like O'Shea. Rick. Rick O'Shea. Oh, he thought his name was Rick O'Shea. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> and we're like, no, no, no. Rick O'Shea. Rick O'Shea. Rick O'Shea. <laughs> you say it fast. He's like, man, I thought he was Irish. We're like, no, 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 no. He might be. No. He was really nice, too. We've met him. Yeah, That's and Derek saying. told him to his face that he wanted Logan Paul to beat him. We met him on wow, a Friday, and he said, "Oh, you bold!" I want Logan Paul say? to beat you tomorrow. Derek Whoa. is so bold. He like just tells it how it it is at all these that's wrestlers. How you should, no, that's and like how you, you know, do. I feel like a lot of times, like you were saying earlier, when you met Mercedes Monet, you yeah. were a little speechless yeah. and like, ah. Derek is just has so much swag to him, but like, only yeah. with the guys. Yeah, He'll with get, the girls, he gets yeah. a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> so when I, I actually so. You know how Randy Orton is from St. Louis? Yeah. Uh-huh. My God, I was even worse then. I was probably like 13 years old when I met Randy Orton. And I'm That's like, That's how old is... you were when you met me almost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> literally. Literally. So he I'm... wasn't speechless when he met no. you, Katie. No. <laughs> of course I'm... I didn't have that kind of effect on him. <laughs> <laughs> Middle school me, no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was literally. That in the... was South. Yeah. South. <laughs> <That was tough. laughs> I, I was in the pool one day. It's probably like 4th of July or something like that. And I'm in the pool minding my business, and I just see this big guy, and I'm looking. I'm like, he like turns around, and I know you know his tattoos. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why do I know his tattoos? Why do I? Why does that look so familiar? And I'm looking, and I'm like, he turns around. I'm like, that's Randy Orton, and he's in my apartment complex. I'm like, what the heck? And I'm like swimming. I'm like trying to stay calm, and I like I go up to my uncle because my uncle was there too. I'm like. Jaren, look, that's that's Randy Orton. He's like, bro, that's not Randy Orton. I'm like, no, look, that's Randy Orton. Like, Please look. And he's like, whoa, that's him. So he like sits down or whatever. And I like, I'm like, I need a picture. I, we have to go up to him. So my aunt was like, stop being scared. Go over and say hi to him. And she was like, come on, little boy, come on. I'm gonna go say, I'm gonna tell you to go say hi. So she brings us over. She was like, hey, these are my nephews. Can they take a picture with you? And they were like, he was like, yeah, come, come on, like, come take a picture. And so we get a picture with Randy or whatever. And so like maybe. Like few minutes pass by, he's like jumping in the pool, or whatever. And I like walk, and he, Randy Orton, like walks out. He like comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, kid, do you know where the bathroom is?" I'm like, "It's over there." <laughs> and I, I'm mean, like, "Do you want me to take you to?" He's like, "Yeah, take me to the bathroom." I'm like, "Yeah, follow me." But he was, cool. <laughs> he was nice, cool guy. So, awesome did you guy. ever figure out like why he was in your apartment complex? I think he pool? lived there. <laughs> I think oh. he lived there. I don't know. I think he lived there, but I'm not sure. Was he with anybody else? He was by himself. He was by himself. This was like a long time. Oh yeah, ago. he probably yeah, did so, live there. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's so himself. funny. But I'm like, wow, insane. Yeah. Can you believe that, Derek? I have the picture. I'll show you. I'll show you the picture. Imagine I being like next door that. neighbors. I'm like, Gordon. what the? Everything's just lining up for me to be a, in as a, a professional wrestler. I'm it's like, destiny. It's destiny. Thank you. It's like it's, it's all the signs. It feels like destiny for sure. Yeah. Something you I gotta do for me. Mention Mercedes Monet. Yeah earlier at double and nothing she did win the tbs championship how you feel about about mercedes now as a tbs and champion she's the goat she she deserves all of that you know and did i see that mercedes went to the same wrestling school as you she did that's awesome yeah she did yeah she did. i didn't catch her but yeah she she went to flatbacks as well a lot of people went to flatbacks mm-hmm. where is that that's in florida yeah, Florida. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like literally right after. So I was. I told my dad I, that I want to be a professional wrestler. He like literally 
almost killed me because he was like, what happened to going to the Olympics? You were supposed to do this, this plan. Like, you're supposed to represent Costa Rica. Like, what, we had this plan, and now you want to be a professional wrestler? I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, he was like, you know what? It was, the, it was like the next day he called me. He was like, you know what? If this is what you want to do, I support it. I'm going to help you do it. And so he sent me down to Florida. This was like two weeks after the LSU SEC track meet. And yeah, it's in Florida. So, and it was crazy. I was going to ask about that earlier. Like, did you, so you at one point had aspirations to go to the Olympics? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, Cause I wanted to represent my country, Costa Rica. And I wanted to, you know, try to do that as well, but it was there, but it wasn't really there. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're friends with, um, uh, Maxi Dupree Okay. and she became a professional wrestler cause she applied online. Yeah. So that was her look. You've ever done I've that? applied 20 times. Trust um, yeah, me. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I applied 20 she's times. She's also a like, very hot. Female. Yeah, she's very yeah, attractive. Yeah, and 5'9. Very pretty. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure that helps yeah, her, her as a female. Oh, yeah. Too, for sure. I wish I was hot like her. I'd probably get a call up too. But. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I, we believe in you. Thanks. So you were at WrestleMania 40. I wasn't. No, you I was, I was. I was um, at the show right before they went, though. Oh. Yeah. So WWE actually sent our NIL guy tickets. So Morgan. I forgot. I can't pronounce her last name. She's our. She was the one who came up for the WWE recruit. She sent our NIL tickets, and uh, they sent us like five tickets. I took my little sister. They sent us like you know ringside tickets, or whatever. So oh, yeah, it was so amazing. But I, I got a picture in pictures front. Pictures in front of the yeah, because I wasn't gonna be there, so I had to take a picture in front of it. I so. see. Well, you fooled me. <laughs> good. I saw your Instagram. I know. Post. Good. I thought you it were made, in Philadelphia. Good, yeah, <laughs> I was. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's really cool. You were at. Man. Yeah, that's my well, dream. No, I would love to go. He wasn't there. I he would was, love to go. He was at a different show bef- I right wish before. I wish I was there. Were you at the Monday Night Raw in St. Louis? Is I was. that what it was? That's where I was, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, we were there too. Oh, really? Where yeah. were y'all sitting at? We were on the floor. Okay. We were probably sitting there. Where were y'all? I would have seen you. Okay, I wasn't seen there. She wasn't there. Okay. She wasn't there. I wasn't feeling well that were you guys? Were you guys like in front of the ring? Yeah, like, we okay. were like... So the entrances. We do that all the time. Really? Like if you're looking at the ring, yeah. the entrances come from in. the left. We were sitting by, you know, like the barricade does this, like the t- like the turn or whatever. Yeah. I was sitting in that area. Like on the staircase yeah. side. Yeah. Okay, exactly. so yeah. we're on, and I don't it, like every time we we've gotten multiple tickets from from the superstars awesome. we've made friends yeah, with. That's cool. And every time we get. Tickets from the superstars. Yeah. We're always in that Damien same. Pree. Oh yeah. Well, Damian Priest has never gotten us tickets. Oh no. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Drew, yet. Drew McIntyre, Maxine Dupree, and Dom have all gotten us tickets before. Love that. Uh, but we were sit- we always yeah. sit on that same like side of the ring when That's we awesome. get tickets. What from about the, from the Sammy superstars. Zayn? We didn't well, we've never met Sammy that. Zayn. That's Sammy Zayn and Jay Uso are at the top of my list. Really, Jay Uso is amazing. I mean, we've met a lot of people, yeah. so. We've been fortunate enough that a lot of people have been checked off the list, yeah. but we I'm have not reading, met, yeah. and we've never met Mercedes Monet. Okay, she's so amazing. She, she's on my list for sure yeah. too. But Jay Uso and Sami Zayn are yeah. definitely for WWE at yeah. the top of my. You met Jay? No, I want to. Oh, I haven't you met him. Yeah, I got to okay, meet okay. all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he met Jimmy. Well, okay. Maybe you'll be able to wrestle right. alongside of them. Maybe one day. One day and then and you can get us ring size tickets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the dream. <laughs> Derek will be your advocate. That's, that's the goal. Y'all gonna be wearing my shirts. Hell yeah! I'll I wear your shirts in the ring. Derek can be Derek your Baker mouthpiece. In, yeah, you know? for sure. He'll be my dad. manager, literally. Yeah. Derek's oh, yeah. a great hype man. Uh, I will be your manager. I will. We gotta. We should be a stable. We need to be a team. Yeah. They probably can even take us on. Derek, Derek has this thing that he thinks he needs to be in the ring, but I'm like, bro, you're I, so much better behind a mic. Your strengths <laughs> are behind a mic. Derek. You'll be like the Paul Heyman. I'll be the room, like you know. Like you're strong enough to be you'll a wrestler. Be my, you'll but be you're my not wise man. Quick enough to be a wrestler. Unless you okay, want to wrestle, we could be a tag team. We need to work too on far. your agility. No, no, no. I think I think being a wise man is a good idea. Although too he far. does like to call Pac, uh, Paul he Heyman to, a cockroach. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't like Paul Heyman. He you respects like Heyman. him though. Okay. Now. He has earned uh, his respect, but yes. he has been a cockroach I, in the past. I did res- respect Paul because he is he is the hol- finally in the class of 2024 yes, he class is. of the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And the reason I respect him because what he did with with wrestling in the day to make make everything awesome, yeah. like the advocate to become to. Advocate of Brock Lesnar, that is also uh, awesome right there. Also become the the wise man of Roman Reigns. Yes, that's that's cool. Yep. And the tournament manager of Easy Dub. Yeah, Easy Dub, Easy Dub, Easy Dub. And, and there's no 
a a dub before Easy Dub. And now <laughs> we got SummerSlam two nights. Yeah. How do you feel about SummerSlam doing a two night event in Nibby the Apple? In twenty twenty six, right? I don't know how it's I feel about that. Because sometimes I don't I don't like how WrestleMania is tonight sometimes. That's just my opinion. I feel like it should just be one Sunday. But I guess it's just so big, it got to be two nights. So okay, I mean, I've heard, though, there were WrestleManias in the past where it like went for like eight hours. That is true. And, and that is way too time. damn that much. That is true. That is true. <laughs> but, I mean, I feel like, how long is the one day? I mean, it's like... Oh, my God. Uh, no. I mean, SummerSlam... They're we, all easily when, four hours. When okay. we go to pay-per-view events, we have every expectation of we are not leaving this stadium until, until 11 after 30. 11 p.m. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and even the two-night event, WrestleMania events, it is... Know. It is, and we, we're getting to the stadium around four p.m. Yeah, yeah. So it like it. I am exhausted I don't know how I by feel the time. A, I don't know how I feel about a pay per view being too nice though. Sometimes I don't necessarily need it to be multiple times a year. <laughs> <laughs> the WrestleMania being the granddaddy of them all was good yeah. enough for me. Well, but that's just how do you, me. Do you like that it's too nice? I, I think it's freaking cool. Derek's like, okay. yes. He, he, wrestling take every day. all the wrestling. He just likes, and if you can give him more wrestling, that's good for him. I feel that. You know, Thursdays and Sundays are his only free nights of the really? week. And sometimes no, there are well, pay-per-views on Sundays. Yeah, because there's stuff that comes on on Thursdays. I don't want to, I don't know if that's too much wrestling for y'all, but. What's Ring on Honor, Thursdays? I think Ring, Ring of Honor, TNA, Impact. He he sure. watches some of those, but okay. he, he watches AEW and yeah. WWE. Like Mostly. he does not miss okay. those. That is appointment TV. Yeah. Did you watch the pay per view last he night? He gets pissed off when we make dinner plans on those double nights. Nothing. Yeah, double nothing. Did. did you like it? It was it was amazing. It was amazing. It was incredible. Like the the best part is when he MJ Abley comes out. He did. I was so <gasps> happy for that. I was so that. happy. He came back. You didn't he see. Did. Oh, I don't. Sorry. Okay, so here's I don't mean the thing. Grill you. We don't. We do the weekly wrestling wrap Same up on Tuesdays. Tomorrow. Okay. So I try okay. not okay. to like okay. react okay. too Shout much to until he, he, he's back. Uh, <laughs> and he's staying. He said. Oh wow! I can't wait to talk about this <laughs> yeah. tomorrow, buddy. He's back. You gotta watch the clip. It's, it was amazing. I love you. Watch you, gotta, you, uh, you need to see what he has on too. I don't know if you're uh, okay. Actually, cool. he did not say he's back, but 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 his contract is still up. All what right. do they call him? The devil. His favorite, their favorite. Oh, scumbag. 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 Oh, yeah. So what's, what's your last question, D? We got to wrap this up. He said, he said, and I quote, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leaving? <laughs> leaving. You got to bleep that out. He said that yesterday? Yesterday. No. Yes. Uh, yes. I don't know. I'm gonna watch the clip between now and tomorrow so we can <laughs> we can get to the bottom of this. Th- this episode will be coming out later than the weekly wrestling wrap up, so this won't be out until next Monday. But we'll, we'll have to see about that. Your 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 reaction compared to David's a little different. I'm happy that he's back. <laughs> Maybe he just said I I'm, don't know. I don't know. His contract is still up, and he said he's leaving AEW. Forever. We did go to AW Dynasty, which was the first yeah. AW pay per view yeah. in St. Louis. And it. How was that? It was good. I. Yes, yeah, so I was at the incredible. show right before that, but how was that? It was it was a good show, That's but cool. I was. Will Ospreay, like, yeah. blew my mind. Oh, my mind. God. That guy. He is. That's somebody I need, I, that I look up to for wrestling. Tips he is He's, very impressive. Oh like, I. Him and Brian Danielson, they were the third to last match they weren't even the last match and yeah. i'm like why in the world was that not the main event yeah that was because that match it was it was the best AEW match I was, i've ever I watched i was literally scared for brian i was so scared for him. i thought he was like literally hurt i did too I, but i mean i i, I really didn't was, realize that he wasn't hurt until like i was believing that I he, thought was, he was, hurt was gonna like have a until like, a, he they started taking him off and they didn't yeah. Bring out a stretcher. Okay, okay, okay. But you and know you what know somebody they, they told do us? This. Yeah, they do that. that's what if somebody told us. Yeah. If some, if they're actually hurt, the refs will, the or they'll cross their arms. But and sometimes they'd be looking so hurt that, like, you know, the like, way he was squirming. Yeah, yeah I, I thought was, he was like literally having a seizure attack. Yeah, I no. was like, dude, I was uncomfortable. <laughs> and then, but the way it. he got hit though, like it was, it was crazy. Yeah, I was uncomfortable watching it, and I did not like it. And then, but once they started taking him off, and they didn't, you know support his neck in any capacity i was like all right he's fine (laughs) that's crazy yeah i saw it It was all right all right what's your last question d it is not for sure 
Before they get to the, the last question. Is this the second to last question? Probably. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a question for you after, too. After your question. Okay. Do you want to see... We did talk about B- Bailey a lot. Yeah. Do you think Bianca Belair will, d- will dispose Bailey where she is? Expose? Yes. Okay. Expose Bailey where she is. And that way she co- comes back to, do, to be a heel and to come back to damage control. I'll say this. So I know Bianca Belair hates Bailey for what they did to her at SummerSlam. Damage control did to her mm-hmm. something. So, I don't know. I think Bailey or no Bianca Belair had, might have something up her sleeve. I, I really want to see her turn heel. Can you imagine Bianca Belair as heel, Oof. hitting everybody with her braid? That'd be bad. I everybody uh, run. I think <laughs> that there is no chance Bailey will return to damage control. Oh yeah, absolutely not. No. Told you. No, that won't happen. Derek has wish- Derek wants Derek, it too. Derek really? is wishful thinking. Oh, dang, Derek. I'm sorry. He's just upset that they're broken uh, up. So it, it, they're it, not broken up. They're struggling like ever. They're like, on like a break. The they're on a break. <laughs> they're not on the break. And their break is break. indefinite. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's not let's not lose our minds. Okay, okay. Let's let's are you gonna let David ask the last oh, yeah, question or are you gonna ask the last question? I I, I am gonna ask him. Okay, question. then let's see da- let's hear David's question first. Okay. If we were to be a tag team, me and you, Derek, what would our tag team Ooh. name be? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Great question. That's really great question. The double Ds. Double Ds. I like that. Not double Ds. No, sure. no, no, no. Well, you had the wave thing going. Maybe yeah. you could be like the cannon wave because Derek would make a cannonball. Okay. A big cannonball. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm not wrong. <laughs> well, that is sick. Oh, you like that cannon wave? You don't like the double Ds? Derek doesn't Can't get it. Wave. I like both. I don't know. We'll figure it he out. He doesn't get it. He still doesn't get it. We'll see what you they got give another us. name. <laughs> <laughs> double D's on me and Drew. Oh, oh that's true. Oh, him, yeah. He, him and Drew already okay. do claim, right. the, claim the double okay. D's. All right. But you don't even claim Drew, so. You wanted Damian Priest to win. Yeah. Well, Derek's I, I fake. do not. I'm like not the fake baker. Derek's the fake baker. Derek is fake. <laughs> I'm still. You're I'm fake. still like. When it comes to our wrestling fan friends, Derek, it can be hella fake. I can't I'm too. still upset. I got called fake earlier. In the <laughs> <day>. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. I forgot about that. Let's talk I about did too. That <laughs> okay. Okay. What's your last question? To answer your your okay, question. You oh, answer. good. 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 I, I, I don't know. I would get back to you. Um, okay. What Let's are your call initials? Me. DB. DB? You're DB too. Right? Ooh. What's your middle initial? I don't have a middle name. Oh. I'm the third. DB D- squared. Derek's D-B squared. initials are Math Dab. Huh? Dab. Dab. D-A-B. That might work. You know, my mom, my, my middle name would have been Anthony, so that works perfectly fine. Dab. Dab. Dab, Dab squared. The Dab, Dab boys. boys. Well, Dab that would be really cool, but, but, but I... I really don't know what what our name. name. He's like, I I'm like gonna that. have to think on that. But I want to get back to you for that. Cool, just call me. But your thing is the smooth, right? The wave. Smooth. The wave. The wave. The wave. Yeah. Right. The wave. The wave is smooth, though. It is. Yeah. Maybe you. Maybe our tag tag team name will be. D smooth. D smooth. Ooh, Ooh like Derek. I'm that. Derek does break dance. D really? smooth. You have to teach me a few moves. I got something. good breaking. Although he does need to wear the stretchy pants when he does that. He's <laughs> learned that Shut lesson the hard up, way. Shut up, Katie. <laughs> oh, all right. Why are you trying to expose him, Katie? Oh my god. Well, he's trying to expose <laughs> Bailey over here. All right, what's your last question, bro? We all know what Bailey is up. No good. Like, come on. Okay. I, I get it. She's our friend, but I don't buy the, the, this crap. Anyway, I did answer your question before it was up to uh, the, the last one oh. for, for the day. <laughs> Do you think Bianca Bel- Bianca Belair will dispose Bailey where she is? Expose. I think he's kind of said yes to that already. And to go back to D- damage control. Mm-hmm. Please say the right answer. Yes. yes, I think <laughs> Bianca Belair will expose Bailey. And Bailey will go back to damage. And hit her with a brain. Hopefully, I hope I hope she does mm, that. Mm-hmm. In the face. Right to the eyeball. Ouch, that hurt. Ooh. I, I Do you hear the clink? It's like a, it's a snap. That thing's happy. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Derek got deadly. to hold it once. Did you really? I did. It was cool. Was okay. it heavy? He kind of did one of these, you know. <laughs> nice. I got a little bit of EST in me. <laughs> EST. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Okay, I, I am too, oh, Derek, too cool for Derek, Bianca. Derek, I have a question. Are you the smoothest? Oh, okay. Pass it know to it. me. Oh. oh, you can know it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Derek, you want to wrap it up? Yes, before we wrap it up, do it. Oh, the wave? Oh, there it is. There <laughs> it is. You're not on the YouTube. You hey. really just missed a great visual. <laughs> what day would it be? T. D. Smooth. D. Smooth. D. Smooth. They ain't ready for us. I like that. I do I like that. Nobody's ready for us. No, I don't know. We need to patent <laughs> that. Yeah, not sure. not even the Alpha Academy. For sure. Oh, you guys could take the Alpha Academy. Oh, yeah. Especially since they're splintering. Well, well, yeah, especially get since they're Gabriel. breaking apart. Yeah. 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 Okay, last question, bro. Let's hear it. And the last question is, and by the way, it is fun to have you on this podcast. Thank you for having me. It is awesome. I think your career will take off like, ah. like, very, very far. Thank you, man. That means a lot. For real. Appreciate good, you. Good. My last question is, how does it feel to working very hard to become a professional wrestler? How's it? How's it feel? But, but. Uh, it's um, it's a lot because I know it's gonna be a lot, and I'm kind of like I'm not procrastinating on starting. I'm just kind of starting, making sure that timing is good for me. You know, as far as like my job and you know, just kind of making sure I hit the gym and stuff because I I need to gain like 21 pounds to make sure I hit the mat. Okay, but uh, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty confident about it. So uh, all these things are lining up for me as far as like, you know, just the signs and destiny and all this stuff being in my life. And yeah, I mean, everything is lining up pretty well for me. So I think I'm ready. Well, we can't wait to have you back on the pod when you're Thank a big you. superstar. Uh, one day, right? Well, <laughs> I can't wait to do, 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 do see you throw hands in a rest in the world. Yeah, for <laughs> and, sure. And I can't wait for it for that. But we did hear from MJF. Is it possible Triple H will put MJF? This one is actually the, the last one, actually. Do you think Triple H will put MJF in the WWE? Like I don't he think did so. Be, be, I think before M- Jay Cargill. Um, I think MJF is there to stay. I'm gonna be real. I think I don't think he's hey, there. Hey, Derek, yeah. you're allowed to have a different opinion <laughs> um, than you. I think MJF is AEW bound, like for life. Uh-huh. I don't think he's going anywhere. I, I, I think, think so. If Tony Khan has anything to say about it, I think you're probably right. Yeah, I yeah. think he's there to stay. I mean, you know, Jay Cargill. I think she she mentions how she, you know, how that company was good for her to start off in, and she wanted to be somewhere bigger. And uh, I think that, I don't know. Well, oh, her, Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair is like, that, that is a yeah, wrestling that, that, dynamic, that, wrestling yeah, dynamic duo. needed to happen. Oh, history in the making. Happen, yeah. Oh, we know Jade and Bianca are incredible tactic for sure. But but I did hear from MJF at Double and Nothing, he said he's, he's leaving AEW for good. You got to look at that tattoo he got on him. He got a tattoo on his ankle that says AEW, Double or Nothing. Yeah, I look at that again. Ooh. Just saying, man. So, are you doing anything <laughs> actively <laughs> in the so, working toward wrestling, yeah. or where are you kind of at right so now? So, I'm, I'm uh, planning to go back uh, soon. Actually, like very, very soon, like a couple months. Actually, to wrestling b- school. To wrestling school. Okay, cool. Back and, to flatbacks. Um, not back to flatbacks. Um, okay. Just because it's far, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going local, like in the in area. In Indiana or Indianapolis. Okay. Yep. So, you know, if you guys want to come to Indianapolis, watch me wrestle. All on right. The indie scene. Yeah, hit like, us guessing. up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I'm yeah. down. Yeah. Derek's always down for wrestling. Yeah, so I'm getting back in, get back to my wrestling. training. So I'll be back soon. All right, well, well we thank had you. so much fun having you on know. today. Thank you. Tell our audience where they can find you. Um, you yeah. can find me on my Instagram, uh, David Buckner, D4 Vid Buckner. <laughs> the four is an A, Buckner. so yeah. And then Twitter, uh, I don't even use Twitter, so. Instagram. Instagram yeah, yeah, yeah. is where I'm at. Find me on Instagram, David Buckner. And we'll tag you in the Baker's Banter. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Thank you. I, I did also have been he he did MJF did wear All right, you're Triple obsessing H. now, bro. I love MJF too. He's cool. He's great. Okay, we gotta we gotta wrap this up, so we gotta say goodbye. He did wear a Triple H. He did. That's what I was telling you to watch. And that's the reason he is I think it was a little shade. AEW. I think it's a little shade. I don't know. I think he's taunting him. Time will tell. Yeah. Time will tell. 
All right. Well, thank you for watching Baker's Bantering this week. We had an awesome time with our friend David. Yeah. Derek is I wearing the Baker Banner Smackdown yeah. shirt again. I know the last time Derek wore this, we had some questions about it. So you can find it on BakerBanner.com if you're looking for the Baker Banner Smackdown merch. And we, yeah, we just had a great time. Yeah, I'm so glad we got to chat Happy with back, you. Yeah. And you'll definitely have to come back, sure. especially if you have some new updates belt. for us. What Hell yes. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Please bring a belt <laughs> up in here. We did have Dom's belt on the podcast, okay. but not in person. It was a virtual belt. It so was. we would love to have an in-person <laughs> yes, belt. Yes, yes. I'll bring the in-person belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, yeah, and we before you sure. go, we'll have to show you some of Derek's wrestling goodies upstairs. Please show me. I want to see. All right. All right. Say we goodbye, Dave. We will do that. Guys, it, it is fun to have Mr. David right here on this podcast. It will be become a professional wrestler to wish him luck in his career today. And no offense, but I think you're, you're wrong about <laughs> MJF. That's all good. I'm sorry, man. I think he's not going nowhere. I don't want to get you Derek doesn't do up. well when uh, okay. people have different opinions than him. <laughs> you know? okay. He is going to One WWE. Because he did wear Triple H outfit. It could happen. It could happen. We'll we'll believe it when we see it. He was wearing a Triple H jacket. I didn't know if y'all saw that. He was. Oh, Derek saw it. And Derek's Uh, fixated on it. I saw it too. It's it's amazing. Yeah. And I can't wait to talk more about MJF tomorrow. Okay. So. What should the people who watch this podcast do? Likes. Share. Subscribe. Comment. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Do all that. Damn it, Jeff, for sure. But it is good to have David on. So thank you to, to join us this evening. Thank you, man. And I can't wait to see, see your career in, in wrestling. Yeah. Really yeah, you'll good. have to call me out one day. Announce my name. We'll see what <laughs> happened. Something. Derek would be delighted. <laughs> we'll All right. See, we'll see what happened. Something. We'll figure it out. We'll it, get it. It is good to have you on. I think you're wrong about MJ. You said that. You right said now. that. <laughs> so all I'm gonna say is thank you to join us join us this evening and we'll see what what is the status for MJF. Yes, all right, right. buy it's the merch. Damn it. Damn it. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll That's see. all we have time for today. That's thank you guys for listening. For we will today. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace.